Oh my gosh, Louise. What are you doing there? Oh what what gonna do you there? <laughs> Some might be butter and sugar now. Keep the butter and the sugar in the pan now, girl. Go ahead. Right. I'm making a black cake boy. I'm going down to the carcass and taking on this black cake for the family. What? That what is a, is a Christmas cake you're making? Well, it's a Christmas cake, but it's outside of Christmas. It's more like a birthday, you know? Uh huh. Uh -huh. So I decided to do something different, make a black cake. Mm hmm. You know? Who is black cake for? My sister in law. Okay, okay, She's okay. She's been a very good sister in law to me. Mm -hmm. And I thought that since we are going down, her birthday has already passed, but I would just like to have a little time together with the family and have some nice food and, and carry a black cake. Really good, really good, man. So, what goes into all of this? What do you mean? I mean, what are the ingredients? How you go about making a black oh, cake? Ask me that. So what's the recipe? Not what oh. goes with all of this? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, this recipe is a recipe that a very good good friend of mine gave. And I'm so glad that she did. Because she, poor thing, she has since long died. I would have been a sad thing for her. It's sad enough to have lost her, but to lose that good recipe would have been tragedy. Oh my, oh my. So here I have in the bowl here, I'm making a half pound of cake. A what? A half what? Half pound. Uh huh. A half pound is going to give you this size cake pan. So in here, we have one cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. And one cup of margarine, half pound of margarine. Okay, okay. So you would have, you know, um, melt the butter and sugar properly, stirring it and getting it smooth, which I have already done. Then, for this amount of butter and sugar, we're gonna put in six eggs. Okay. So we're gonna first test the eggs to be sure. Just be sure that it um that it's fresh good eggs, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put the eggs in there. Six eggs. You whisk the egg and you put a piece of lemon skin or lime skin to take the freshness of the egg off. So here you are, and that's why this lime skin, the purpose of this lime skin in here. And um, we are looking at six eggs to the half pound of cake. To the half the pound of? To the half pound of? Cake. Oh, cake, okay. Six eggs. It's usually a pound cake, but I am making half pound. So I'm giving the recipe the suit half pound. If you want to make a pound, you just double everything. Mm -hmm. Christmas time, you would need more cake, so you begin doing one pound. So you stir this in, which will help the butter and sugar to so be even smoother. And then you're going to put in three quarter pounds of flour and three teaspoons of baking powder. So you have three quarter pounds of flour here and three teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. So we're gonna stir in the flour and the baking powder together with the eggs. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were not doing the video, you would have been helping me. Well, boy, I'm so Do glad I am behind the camera, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Been helping me. I am so happy to film you instead. Instead yes. of all that elbow grease coming out there. What elbow grease? Oh, you know elbow grease is that when you're working hard at something, man. To shine your car, they say elbow grease. You gotta put the elbow grease in, yeah? Okay. Yeah, but you go right ahead. Your left hand is powerful. Man, this is more than grease, man. This is love. This, this is, is not grease. This is love. <laughs> okay, so we see here, we're doing very nicely so far. 
-hmm. with, so we will just do the other three eggs. But the amount is total six eggs, eh? Right. Six eggs. You're whisking away. Right. Running along smoothly. Mm hmm. Yes, my lady. Two more to go? No, one more. One more? Okay. So you used to make black cake in Ikakas? Oh, well, <laughs> as children, you made black cake. It was only done at Christmas time, eh? Mm. Those were in the days of the old wooden, big old wooden oven. Ah. Uh. And Tan Tan and Mama used to do all the baking. Well, we kids would be just around boiling the ham and having fun, talking stories and laughing. Mm -hmm. While the older ones do all the work, that Christmas Eve night, there's a cake going in the oven, mm -hmm. the other oven, the bread, the ham. Mm -hmm. And your father playing Ludo? And we, now Christmas Day, <laughs> when you get Ludo for Christmas, uh, when you get Ludo, cake, Ludo. There's Ludo and the snake and ladder boy. And when I tell you, my father used to be vexed when you kick him out. Uh -huh. But he will kick you out with pleasure, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, we used to enjoy that, that game in Cora too. Yeah. You see, how, you see how the North and the South came together in most things, eh? Well, same country. Same country. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing about it is that that was what all children that 50 years ago, I saw all the toys at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not a book, is you get in, mm -hmm. Ludo. Oh, a cowboy, a cowboy set. Yeah, well, well, my brother and them wasn't for cowboys at all. They were like a fishing rod. Then. <laughs> yeah, fishing rod. They were not a fishing rod. You get a fishing rod, man. So here you have now your butter, sugar, flour, mm. baking powder, and eggs. Very good. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, most people for back for their black cake, they use burn sugar. Mm -hmm. But molasses, black strapped molasses. Can I see the label? Mesanita. Ah. Where did you get that? In the supermarket. Okay. So now, so instead of the burnt sugar, you're going to put molasses. And the benefit of molasses I have found is, one, it's as healthier. Instead of all that sugar, you use molasses. It's healthier. Mm -hmm. And from my experience, I find that burnt sugar, you get a dry cake. Okay. But when you put molasses, the cake is all nice and wet, mm. you know, and smooth. Okay, okay. So, I'm not too sure, but I think this is a one-third cup. So, we're going to try one-third. And once, the thing is, once you get the desired color you wanted, mm -hmm. it will be sufficient. So, I think the one-third cup the half pound it's ideal okay but please remember if you're making one pound of cake everything will be one pound you double everything okay so now the fruits which i ground is enough is like a half pound half pound of raisins half pound of prunes and half pound of currants, quarter pound mixed peel. Okay. And you blend that with half bottle of cherry brandy. Some people 
love alcohol, but I'm not putting any alcohol in this cake. Okay. So now we have here, this is the fruit ground together, and you'll get like three cups, um, three cups of fruit when, when ground together. So what, what actually, what's the composition in that uh, in the fruit? You have prunes. What? Well, half pound of prunes, mm -hmm. half pound currants, half pound raisins, okay. and a quarter pound uh, mixed peel. Mixed peel, okay. That is for the half pound cake. Mm -hmm. If it is one pound, it will be one pound of each fruit. Are you tired, Louise? Tired? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit hot. The lights over here. Yeah. But um. Should I take off the lights? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're gonna see the, the cake. <laughs> I, you don't have to see mine. You just have to feel. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. That's a little too risky. Oh, oh. Second, put on this one behind. No, don't please. So running right along. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm So here we have, we almost finished the procedure. Very good. The black egg, and we will add to this a few cherries. If you don't like it too sweet, you don't put too much. And you can also including this some almond mm -hmm. slices of almonds when i'm doing it for christmas i'll put almonds okay <laughs> but i don't have any almonds at the moment but it's not going to kill the cake. you want a little bit of the trail mix that's left trail mix <laughs> no 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh you really have almonds in there i don't know <laughs> innovative Lancy. Yes. Okay, so we need to just heat up the oven, 350. Mm -hmm. Should that have been done earlier? No. Okay. And we're going to add water to this tray mm -hmm. and that way the cake will be steamed. Okay. So it's not going to burn at the bottom. Okay. We actually cook it with the steam. Cooking with steam. Okay. Rest it there, Louise. Easy. Thank you. So, do you using this one pan today? Well, if we get enough to get a little. One for tasters, Lancy. You know you would like to taste it, but oh, yeah. if we don't get that, you'll have to wait till you go down to the carcass. Okay, okay. I can wait. I can wait. But I'll you think that this was enough molasses here? Maybe you could put a, just a little more. You don't want to. You don't want to have the predominant taste of molasses, no. eh? No. So I, I would say the one third cup. Yeah. Work with, work with what you have been doing. Make sure we get every drop out, mm -hmm. so we wouldn't say that it was missing some. Okay, mom. That's good. You know my mother used to make black cake too? Oh, mother was a good black cake person. Yeah, mother was a good black cake person. In those days, you know, as the days when but they used to they put used, the... She always used the burn sugar. Yeah. Those are the days when the ham was um, boiled in, a, in the tin. Yes. You had to cut all the, the ham, all that, you know, that wrapping it had along. The black tar. The black tar. <laughs> yes. You all used to boil in the pitchol tin too? I think they, they, yeah, they used to do that, out in the black tar there. Uh -huh. Just enough for the pan. Half pound of cake. Okay. See? Just I be last Sorry. 
no taste test for you. Oh my. Then I should have been here to see this. I'm not Santa too. children the 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 um they used to put the the burn sugar the the well, orange acid? peel the orange uh -huh. peel uh -huh. and everybody want a taste of that orange peel you know because when they take it out of the cake uh -huh. but I didn't put the thing into here okay but usually it will end up in the cake as well mm -hmm. and everybody want a piece of the that feeling, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're sucking away the, the raw cake. <laughs> and even the pan you have there, you know, you, you scrape the pan with your fingers. Yeah. Well, I think you might have to go back to that today. <laughs> <laughs> Lancy, yeah. you may have to go back to, do, to that today, darling. Oh, gosh, you have no samples at all. No samples. No samples. Sorry, brother. So this is what the cake will look like. Unfortunately, it's going to take an hour in the oven, mm -hmm. in the boiling water, and so we just put this in there, and then we will just have to wait. We will just have to wait for an, another hour to see the results. So, when um, when that cake is finished. I can get a little piece. No, I will have to give you an Oreo, Lancy. An Oreo? Yeah. That's why you put that there? Yeah, it's because it's the closest thing to black cake. <laughs> yeah, girl. What a treat for a man who has been holding this camera. But Nevertheless, I accept the Oreo. But Lancy, you know, um, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a taste here. Don't worry. Okay, I look forward to that. And let's hope that that cake. Uh, better really yet, I will do it the way we used to do it as children. Uh huh. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, Louise. It's going to be delicious. Very good. Love you. Bye bye.